come right into The scriptures say every come. eye shall see him. Because they're going to cover the whole earth. And let me, I got another one to back him up. The scripture says these chariots, these UFOs are coming. It's going to be a curse on the earth. Because it's coming to kill. You've seen uh, War of the World. It's the new one. And then it blew a horn, and then it oh, stopped yeah, lasers. Yeah. They just, got that out the scriptures. Just the like, horn and everything. Just like on a close encounter with the third kind. Right, right. They right. got that from the scriptures. And Steven Spielberg is a so-called Jew, the devil. Yeah. Because he had to know the Bible in order to make uh, that Spielberg movie. made World of the Worlds also. Did he? I didn't didn't know he? I didn't Spielberg I, make World of the Worlds? I don't know. The devil uh, probably did. Or was that somebody else? I don't know. I'm going to find out. I don't know. Now that you ask. I hate not knowing something. I'm sure it was made by a so I do. I hate Jew. not knowing something. He asked, and all, you know, we, we play games like that with each other, you know. Ask something that we want to play. <laughs> um, where am I going? Um, the 10. And let me read this. Isaiah 66 and 15. <laughs> For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Who is Isaiah 66 and 15. Oh, that's what I'm For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, Ooh. and the slain of the Lord shall be, be many. many. So it's gonna be a lot of killing going yeah. on. And they think the Lord is coming with a box of Hershey Kisses with spiritual yeah. power, and that box of Hershey Kisses is gonna multiply into million of boxes. Uh -uh. He ain't gonna perform this. Well, like he that. said by his, they said the love of Jesus. They said the Lord was angry. That's right. That's right. He ain't come to hand out flowers and give kisses on babies, cheeks. And when you read the uh, the gospel, Matthew ten and thirty four, the Lord said, "I come not to bring peace, but a sword." He comes to bring a sword. Hey, that sword is a bad word because that sword means you can use your imagination to use that word sword because it's modern day yeah. sword right now is like. give us power. He's going to give us power. And the scriptures also say that we're going to wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. So we're going to get our, our revenge. Okay? Revenge is all in the Bible. Yes. It's it's all in the Bible. And revenge is a dish that serves Who said that? I don't know. I got it. Uh, that's, that's, old, that's an old proverb. <laughs> All right, we're in, man. Okay, man. We can go on with this one. I know, I know. I'm the same way. Kings of the Earth. Okay. On Twitter, Kings of the Earth. All right. We post links to all the videos. They got a, thousands of tweets, so but you'll find the videos if you scroll through it. Yeah, you'll see my ugly mug on there. You can watch the video. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we post a news story. It's all about getting this message out there, man. That's all, the only reason why we're on the internet. So it reaches people that can't get out here. Yeah. They actually come because there's more people than us. That's, you know, there's people in all the cities that's doing the same thing. Well, the internet, yeah, because we got brothers all over the world doing this work mm -hmm. yeah. through the spirit. Let me tell you, bug you, let me bug you out with this. Right. The internet is mentioned in the Bible several times. Yeah. I heard you read a couple of those. <laughs> yeah. like the actual internet is mentioned in the Bible. Wait, the word internet? It don't say internet. Uh, well, of course say. it don't say. It, it don't, don't say, say America. Yeah. It don't say UFO. It don't say missiles. Right. It don't right America. That's the key thing because a lot of people don't want to believe. They don't say dinosaurs because they want this place to go on forever. People don't want to believe America's going to be, you know, going to be destroyed. But this bastard place was created just so it can be destroyed. It's only that's the only purpose for America was to be destroyed. And where's that shirt you got? Uh, oh, I left it in the car. Oh, you left it. Left in the car. Yeah, cause you got to look at how this place was, was first started. Yeah. Now, it, was, it was a giant slave plantation. Most people got here on slave ship. Okay, not just black people. They, that's what they want to brainwash everybody. Tell you it was only black people that was slavery. You had all kind of yeah, it's everywhere. It's still this is a motherfucking. We're all fucking slaves out here. Yeah. <laughs> slaves on. Like I said, there's no Sabbath. There's no rest. We have no rest. The scriptures say this is not our rest. Yeah, just about to get rest. Uh, what? <laughs> this, great. this is not our rest. <laughs> all right. I'll see you guys. Okay, man. Thank okay. you for informing us and doing what you're doing. I appreciate it. Really, I do. Yeah. You better, yeah, cool. you better read that Bible, man. I'll try, man. Thank yeah. you. She's reading the Bible, man. Y'all got a question? Oh, uh, she did, but uh, I got a question. Uh, I thought that one guy was good. Huh? That's my sister. No, no, I'm talking about that girl. Uh, oh, where's your friend at? That water buffalo. That's his, that's his girlfriend, right? No, that's. that's Y'all, that's your girlfriend? Yeah, that's your girlfriend. Yeah.
ask his sister oh, yo, brother, for the sister. fifth time. You know your I know that right now. The most high didn't name us African American. He didn't give us a label nigga either. <laughs> actually, the nigga is in the Bible. Even though it's in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> but he, <laughs> it is in the Bible though. Well, that's why it's forgetting. Yeah, it's good. That's what we get. Y'all know, you know niggas in the Bible. But you gotta understand why the word was used. You know? Everything, I love the spiritual thing that's going on. Everything yeah. that happens is spiritual, man. Everything that happens is spiritual. Yeah, people yeah. said. Just order in the bookstore. You know, go to um. You look out this way, right? You can use it. Actually, I think I'm. Long, yeah, you got it from Long's. The right here. I order them in the bookstore just so they have it. Just yeah. in case somebody wanted to go buy one, <laughs> they already have it in the store. So I go in there intentionally and order. Yeah, Barnes and Noble's, they usually mm -hmm. have it. I did it one. I did it a couple times in there. The one at Easton. I did it up in Polaris. I just keep doing this. It's funny. Yeah. I, don't know I get bored. I be drinking a couple beers and get bored. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And yes, you can drink. It's in the bottle. Oh, they drank it the Last Supper. Yeah, that's right. Wine. Shit. They drank that good wine. They drank a good wine. Right, right, right. Let me find this one. Um, we ain't seen the scripture in so long. Oh, yeah, it's been a minute. I know where it's at. Hold up. Oh, you know where it's at? All right. Yeah, it's just a... It's something, I was just reading this the other day to somebody on the internet. Because I called somebody a nigga. Bro. Because they was... They was acting... Yeah, they was like, how dare you... Curse word. It's like it's in the Bible. I mean, people, they call, I mean, come on. You hear all people calling each other black every day. So what's the difference? What's the difference? Nigger uh, yeah. is black. What's the difference? Nigger is black. Uh, yeah, that's black. That's <laughs> you know? You, you watch, actually, I did this video on that. You, 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 you yeah, watch the videos nigger. on that Greg Stanty channel? That, that channel I got with the crown. Look, they being someone up over there. The cops your boy, are. Uh, your boy said he was watching Okay, well that channel right there, that channel right there, I got a video when I break, you need to watch it. You need to go to that channel and there's this video I made, it's uh, etymology of, uh, of nigger, nigger, nigger. Just watch that video because that's a, it'll give you a deep understanding. Right, right. There's more than I can give you right now. It takes forever. They got you know, they, <laughs> and that's the funny thing is they the program our people to fight being called black. Yeah. You know? And they put it on mind programmed us that it's okay that we can refer to each other as nigga. What's up, nigga, my nigga? You know what I'm that's saying? That's a horrible word. Uh, that's horrible. But it's a good thing now because it's a spiritual, the spiritual is going to hear. Because the people that's using that word are spiritually dead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know? But here we go right here. Because we see examples of this every day. These fools riding through the hood. The car barely runs. But they put a loud system in that thing. They can sell drugs for months. Because they only making, they barely making money selling drugs in the corner anyway. Yeah, you ain't making no money selling drugs. They well, got to save forever. <laughs> there's only a few, a handful of them drug dealers that actually making money. Right. Most of them go to jail for minimum wage. <laughs> right, for life. Yeah. They'll put a powerful, expensive $3,000 system in the car that, man, put the, fix the car so it can run. You know what I'm saying? But here we go. This is Ecclesiastes 14 and 3. Riches are not common for a nigger. That's why Dave Chappelle said they should have never gave y'all niggas money. Remember he said that? Y'all seen that? Dave Chappelle. Hey, when he had that Rick James video. Oh, yeah. When he, Rick James was up kicking it, like, fuck yo. Right there, don't you fuck yo, so <laughs> Huh? Oh, shit. She look like a prostitute. Riches are not common for a nigga. And what should an envious man do with his money? Um, That's in the Bible. You give a fool money, then they're going to do foolish shit with it. There is, there's not like they're going to invest it into their home or their, you know, hell, these niggas don't even buy clothes for their children. The, uh, one, the black woman is, you know, she gets some money, she spends it all at the bar, the club, or on her hair and her nails. The niggas yep. are spending, Xbox, you know. <laughs> PlayStation, you got to get that new uh, Madden. So don't think we attack just women, because we don't. Because if you don't fit into that category, you shouldn't be offended. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't just women. The men are just as gone. You know, these women, these men, they encourage you if you have a husband. They encourage you to go cheat on him just so they can get a part of it.
You know what I'm saying? This is a wicked society we're living in. Wicked society we're living in. When in the scriptures, according to the Bible, you as a woman, you only be a one man your whole life. That's according to the Bible. If you've been with more than one man, the Lord can forgive you. He will, he'll forgive you though. All right, he'll forgive you. But according to the Bible, if, you're, that if he dies, that's when you're able to go to another man. You know, there's laws. The Lord gave us laws to live by, and obviously we don't have laws living in this society because it's a sick society we're living in. Hell, you go to psychiatrists, the psychiatrists need a psychiatrist. You know what I'm saying? They need a shrink. They have problems. This is a, this is a funny, this is a weird society, man. I got more cuss words in the Bible. I got another one. Right here. This is Ecclesiastes 14 and 10. A wicked eye envieth his bread, and he is a nigger at his table. Meaning, uh... Did the motherfucker see you with something? He, he got to have it. He got to rob you for it. He'll kill you like, for it. Like most people to get that that new system in that car. Mm -hmm. Man, this shit be, you getting robbed. Well, if somebody they gonna follow you. They gonna follow you. And while you sleep at 3 o'clock in the morning, Boom. bust your windows out, your shit's gone when you wake up. That's a nigga. That, you know what? Ain't no good curses, man. Or that we are divided, that we hate each other, that a self-hatred for each other. A self-hatred for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Well, you see these niggas. My nephew was jogging down here with blue contacts in his eyes. Yeah, you have black girls with blonde hair. Black people with blonde hair with blonde hair is a purple hair. Mm -hmm. That's Just, a very good thing. She don't know she don't. She, she was talking. You can't be mad at her, but she was talking. What's in, whatever's in your mind, I don't know. But I can pretty much guess because I got a daughter 17. Uh, just like when the Lord was on the cross, he said, forget, uh, please, Father, forgive them because they know not what they do. That's right, that's right. And the truth is, more women are going to be saved than men anyway. More younger women. There ain't going to be no old, these old hoes. Yeah, seriously, these old hoes. You ever seen a woman that had nine different babies, about nine different baby, baby, da baby daddies? She ain't getting that's saved. That's a reality. Is she going to be saved? Hell no. No. Lord ain't gonna, it, it comes, it, come on, come on, come on. These niggas that have babies all over every side of town, in different cities, they can't care less about any of them. It ain't just a woman. It's these sorry ass niggas. I'm more mad at the man than the woman anyway. Well, it's the. It's a the, woman only's gonna flock to who has the power. Yeah, so I get that. Feminists, feminists, y'all, y'all more delicate vessels, you know. Yeah, cause though, it's cause it's y'all, y'all more emotional. Y'all driven off emotions, which are designed and made that way. Y'all women. I don't want a masculine woman. I'm a strong black woman, nigga. I don't want that. I want a feminist woman that can act like a lady. That's their problem is the scripture said, yeah, there'd be a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. That's right. That's in Jeremiah. You see these women found in the household. That's the key. They found in the household. Right. The yeah. woman? When it become we thought I was bad all the one time that, when well, women can't. Well, when America, even in America, when America was first formed, form, Women weren't even allowed to own property. They they, they would have to have a, a supervisor with them at all times. Couldn't weren't even able to have their own money. But that, I mean, that's not just America though. That was the whole world. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing against women. Cause a woman's something you want to protect. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah. check this out. It's like your you be what would you be more mad if you lost your woman or your wallet? My <laughs> woman, you I'm personally I've been that spirit before. Woman, that she left her, man. I swear to God, I wanted to keep everybody around me. Man. I wanted to kill everything about me, around me. And then she was just acting like she wanted to leave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She was just acting like she wants to leave. Shit, I wanted to kill everything. That goes back to O.J. Simpson. Mm -hmm. You know what O.J. Simpson did was a righteous act. Oh yeah, we brought we said that all the time. Yeah, OJ Simpson was a hero. We, yeah, he's a, yeah. <laughs> he's a hero. He's a, he, because only, we only looking at it this way. Because he did perform a righteous act. The woman was committing adultery, so he killed her. Now there's a difference between killing and murder. He didn't murder her. No, that was he not murder. Her. That was not murder. Murder is I see him, you got a wallet, I'm broke as hell. You gonna ride Cut your throat and take that wallet. That's that's, that's murder. That's, that's, that's a sin. That's a that's wicked sin. But well, OJ couldn't control himself, the spirit was on him. What about the woman? Uh, the woman uh, uh, John Hick, yeah, she yeah. committed adultery. Yeah. So what, happened, what happened? What happened though? She was uh, let's get that, get that. You wanna get that, John Hick? Because she was, because she, she was uh, very, she regretted what she did. 
She knew what she did was wicked and evil. So she, so she did it compared to what she could. She, she, she was, wow, what is it? She, she felt bad about what she did. You know what I'm saying? Because people try to always bring this scripture out against us. <laughs> they be like, oh! Uh, it, it was down sin cast the first stone. It's like we ain't throwing stones at nobody. You know what I'm saying? You ever see us stone anybody on a video? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't never did that. We ain't cast a stone, we just curse people out. We ain't never stoned nobody today. John 8 and uh, Psalms 101 and 4. A foreign heart shall depart. Wait a minute, I'm in Luke. <laughs> oh, shit. It says, I will not know a wicked person. John 8. John 8. Yeah, this scripture says that I shall not know a wicked person. I was just staring at it. This is a random thing. Okay, I think this is what y'all looking for. Yeah. Um, John 8. Uh, it said unto them, he that, oh, let me start up here. Right. Uh, John 8, verse 1. Okay. Uh, and he said unto them, he that hath ears, let him hear. Pretty much is common sense because Jesus is not evil. You know what I'm saying? It's not evil. It's totally different from the Hebrew word. Oh, Lord. It's not even similar at all. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Uh, you know, they, like praise to uh, Jesus. Christ. Zeus, yeah. But Jesus kind of sound like Zeus, don't it? Yeah. Jesus. Uh, yeah. Jesus. 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 Okay, Yahushua went unto the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and talked with them. And the scribes and the Pharisees brought unto him a, a woman taken in adultery. Taken in adultery. Go ahead. And when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. So she got caught in the act, so it, it, she actually committed adultery, mm -hmm. which is punishable by death. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Yeah. Now Moses, and the Lord commanded us that such should be stoned. Stoned. But what sayest thou? Well? They ain't trying to tell him. Go ahead. This they said, tempting him, that they might have to accuse him. But Yahushai stooped down, and with his finger wrote on the ground, as though he heard them not. So, what was he writing on the ground with his finger? The scriptures don't try, say. Try to use your spiritual eye to answer. What was he writing? Uh, try to use your spiritual eye to answer. This it, is, it's simple though. Because they, they was accusing, they wanted to kill this woman. They was quick to kill this woman. Right. But they was wicked as hell. They damn so. Yeah, they're right. They was probably committed adultery themselves. That's right. They probably, someone was homosexual. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But they wanted to kill this woman. Right. But what he was writing, the scriptures don't say, but through the spirit, he was writing their sins in the sand. Yeah, mind. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. This they said, tempting him that they might have to choose him, but Jehovah Shai stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground and thought he heard them not. <laughs> so when they continued asking them, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. You know, he said that after he wrote on the ground, and they said, Whoever would y'all is without sin, you cast the first stone. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? All he was doing was writing their sins. You know what I'm saying? Like the Lord is bad, man. You know he's bad, <laughs> man. You remember, he, it's the Lord. He has spiritual power. He know he knows the inward your inward thought. That's right. Before you, know you even think. <laughs> Before you even think. You know, and again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. But I mean, just like us, we ain't gonna kill nobody. We done did some wicked shit in our life, you know what I mean? We're all adulterers. You know, if you had sex with a woman who's not a virgin, you're an adulterer. That's what it, you, you deserve death. That's right. Then yeah. what the scripture says, uh, the first scripture is that uh, it says that 
Every man should have one wife. Well, right. Well, I'm talking about in America, though. None of these women are virgins. Okay. So if you have sex with a woman, you're not a virgin according to the scripture. You're an adulterer. That's why the Lord. That's why he referred to this as an adulterous generation. You know, the wicked and adulterous generation. That's right, wicked and adulterous. Okay. So, the, so technically speaking, the thing is like you got these holier than now people, you know, they, they quick to accuse somebody of something, they're wicked and stuff. Okay. church and he told us we're not teaching it the right way we got to love jesus we got to love everybody but he kept coming out here and each week he got worse and worse now last week he came out here saying that, that he wasn't even the son of god he said he was a devil he said he was the, yeah he told us he was the devil this dude was bugged out this on video he bugged out yeah, this on the video he might have already committed suicide by now yeah really really because when you come against the truth, the Lord will mess you up. Mm -hmm. There's people that came against us that are dead. Oh, yeah. That are actually part of you. Yeah, part of you. Do we know personally? Yes. Well, dead. at least one I know for sure. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You know? And he got shot. Okay. Good boy. Remember, <laughs> guys, remember Guy's cousin? He got shot. He got took out. He had a massive heart attack. Oh, yeah? He had a heart attack? He had a massive heart attack. He died painfully. The Lord is... The scriptures say you're supposed to fear the Lord. That's right. That's all. Oh, what are you That's all through the scripture. Yeah, yeah. Because people, like I said before, that people think the Lord is just a loving God. That's why we come out here. This ain't God. no joke. He's we, a loving God. If we stop coming out here, the Lord will kill us. He'll be worse to us. Then. Yeah, we'll, be, we'll get a worse than one of these people come up here scoffing. Yep. Because. He was, oh, chosen. We, we, right, right, right. he was chosen to do this work. Right? And he gave us an awful lot of wisdom. Yeah. When you when he gives this to you, and you can just teach people, man, that's that's a gift. And then you go and abuse it and not teach it. We brought that out several times in lukewarm people, you know. Lukewarm scripture. But here you go. Ecclesiastes 1 and 11. The fear of the Lord is honor. It's honor. And glory. glory. And gladness. And a crown of rejoicing. The fear of the Lord makes a merry heart and give it joy and gladness and a long life. Right, it's the only thing that makes us happy is being out here. That's the rest right. of the week we mad as hell. <laughs> we be know? texting each other like, man, kill somebody. It's the only time I'm happy. <laughs> man. I hate this, I hate life. Because I know through the text, our text is alone that we still can fear. No, hold on. What is the say? The Lord said, he that loveth his life shall lose it. Whoa. And whoever hates his life shall have life eternal. That's right. That's right. That's right. Whoso feareth the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last. The last. The last. That last is fastly, is coming fast. It's coming, it's approaching quick. You know? And it's coming quick. 
Because we in the spirit, we've been seeing it like when we first started teaching, there wasn't much going on in the world. Now, if you're prepared now and then, oh Lord. It's like destruction right. can come tomorrow. Right. Oh, you see what's going on? Yeah. Israel over there blowing little children up. And it says the least of the flock shall draw them out. And the rat Jews of them heathens, of the Edomites, they're the least of them. They're the least of the heathen tribe. Now, they're going to do something that's going to cause all this hell to pop off. And they're already doing something. They're already doing it. Man, they're just randomly just killing women. And they don't even care about who, who is they supposed to be fighting against. Terrorists. Little children are terrorists. <laughs> they're blowing up schools, hospitals. They're just shooting missiles. <laughs> Lasers. They're children. Yeah, they're Israel, the so-called Jews over there, they got state-of-the-art technology. They get U.S. Right. But you know you're not their That's people, right? Let me see. I know, but slow down. Listen. Are they your people or are they your people? You claim Africans? You know they're not your people. The Chinese ain't. The Chinese people, they hate Japanese. The Japanese hate the Chinese. They want to kill each other. They look alike. Okay. They're not the same people. They're two different nations. And you look at white people. They're not all the same. Same thing applies to white people. Some of the white people you see. Like, for example, like, I'm going see this here. Man, look here, here. Here come a devil right on. He's not here. Okay. You see light skinned niggas. I'm just saying niggas just so you can understand. What's up, homie? You see light skinned so called black people. Light skinned, okay? Yellow as hell. It don't just stop at them, it stops here. Yeah, I mean, it goes you know what light. It goes some, from, some actual black people actually look like so called white they people. They go from all crispy darts to motherfuckers. See how you know they're niggas? I'm saying niggas just so you can like, they, they know, they he do. understand what I'm saying. That's why they had that, that basketball player, uh, what's that dude's name, they call him White Chocolate? Oh yeah, they right. play for the Heat. Um, uh, um, is it the Heat? He played, for, about, he played thinking, for a few teams, he played for the Kings at first. I'm thinking about him. And then he went to the Heat. I'm thinking about him. Jason Williams or, uh, not Williams, I can't remember. I ain't he was light skinned as hell, Jason Williams. The one that, come on, one locked up for murder. No, 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 no. Um, I can't remember. I don't um, watch that shit. Anymore. Man, because I, I don't follow but basketball. It, I don't know these names. No a lot of these athletes you see is the Israelites, but like Brett Favre. You know Brett Favre is, right? You know that Brett Favre? You know who Larry Bird is? Larry Bird. Oh, oh, okay. That's good you don't know, actually. Right. You know who um, you Fox know who, uh, uh, Ben Roethlisberger is. Roethlisberger is a Jake. Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback. Yeah. That's a Nick. Right, that is. He's a big, he's like, a, like the Vikings are. It's a big guy. He's just tall. Oh, like, you right. know, the Vikings are Israelites. You know the Vikings? You know the Vikings are, don't you? That's some history you really got to learn in the history of the Vikings. Yeah, so, and you said that uh, anything came from Well, well Israel, Israelites. Like, that's a nigga right there. See? Yeah, that's a, oh, no yeah, doubt. That, that, look at that. That's that white dude right there. That's a nigga. That's, that's a, a bad a, motherfucker that's right there. That's a nigga. Look at, so he's, so he's a nigga. No, no, that's, that's, that's an Edomite. That's an Edomite. Wait, 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 I don't, I don't get that's an Edomite. We can so, tell through the spirit. You know through the spirit. Look at that dude over you know there. That's, the that's a Jake. That's a cool motherfucker that's a right nigga. there. Hey, he over there smoking this smoke. Right. You know what I'm saying? He got his, he got his jacket. See, listen. Some Israel, Israel has different curses. We all have curses. That's just another curse. Being that's leprosy. Right. Hey, get, uh, I have a son that actually looks like a white guy. Let me show you a picture of him. I get a scripture for that. I have a son. He's my seed. He actually looks like a white guy. So God hates so white people. Huh? So God hates eating them. Yeah, it's in the Bible. Yeah, hell yeah, he hates eating them. Hell, he hates, he's disgusted with them. But you got some people out there, Israelites, who teach Israel's only black people. Yeah, right. And they're going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Anybody teaching that, they're they going to die to death. Okay. Yeah, and the Israel scattered among all nations. Like he was saying earlier, I don't know if you heard him, Bruce Lee's an Israelite. You know Bruce Lee? Yeah, he's actually an Israelite. Okay, nobody fight me called this unit. Hey, that dude with the garment earlier, he was from ISUPK. Oh, straight up? Uh, yeah. Israel yeah. Rising. Oh, that's why they left, huh? He yeah. He's he he seen did. us. Yeah, he saw oh, well, I know. saw that too. Yeah, I saw him leave. ISUPK, see General Johanna. He knows me. He he don't like me. 
He, well, he, I think he does like me, to be honest with you. He be watching our videos. He's like, oh, that boy know them scriptures, boy. <laughs> I've heard them. <laughs> now, because we, <laughs> you read them, read them, he made videos about us, talking yeah, shit. Yeah, because we used to tackle a little bit. He's a general, yo, honey. He's like, oh, I had to give me some popcorn to watch this one. <laughs> 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 nah, you don't know General Yohana? Oh, that's uh, that's Nate. Oh, Nate. Oh, that's the a nasty Nate. He's a fucking. I guarantee cop. they play for the football team. Dude, dude, right dude, wear the purple. He's yeah. a cop, bro. He's a detective. Wait, wait. Yeah, no, you know, wait, wait. He brags about it. He's a cop, bro. Stay away from them motherfuckers. Them dudes ain't some, right. Something they say lies. Well, yeah, I mean that's they guess because they, they learned, set up that way. He set up to keep you not knowing the actual you, truth. You know you can't you can't tell a lie without having some truth. That's right. Because for to tell a lie, you got to know the truth. You know what I'm saying? Because the see the spider will weave his web of lies. Because you what you do is you take about 80 percent, 85 percent of truth, mix it with some lies, and you you weave a web like a spider, and you catch some little flies up in it and suck their blood. <laughs> Here you go, right here. Uh, he thinks he's awesome. Huh? Nate? My son. Oh. That's my son. He thinks he's awesome. He a big boy. He, he looks like a white guy. He's a lot stronger than me. You know? See, his part of this curse is leprosy. He's a big, strong See, we're in a mini curse. Some of our curses is a struggle. Oh, I got it right always there. Always be broken, poor. That's in the Bible, you know? All, you know? Always, always, constantly we working six, seven damn days a week, two, three jobs. And we still struggle, you know? Uh, Those are just curses we're under. You can read about Joab. Jo you know who Joab is? One of David's uh, uh, well, captains. Uh, one of his generals. One of his generals. One of David's generals, Joab was cursed. And all the seed after him was cursed forever and ever with the curse of leprosy. That's right. So some of these Israelite white people, you, know, you got to understand this, that some of them are actually, he would, they wouldn't be out here doing this if they weren't Israelites. <laughs> you know well, I mean, yeah, I got, you got faggots on YouTube every day to be like, why you got Edomites out there with right. you? Right. Now, when do you see, now, find me anywhere you see white dudes doing this, other than, you know, here. That's how you know they're not Edomites. They're Israelites, you know? This is a spiritual thing. The Lord got Israelites out here doing his work. He's not going to have a mixture of Israelites and Edomites. Go Esau right here. That's an Edomite. What's up, Esau? Can't you just see the spirit? You can't tell that spirit? You can't see the spirit? You don't see the spirit? You, you see the spirit of the Lord glowing with him? The spirit of the Lord ain't nowhere near that motherfucker. Can't you tell? What if you came over here and start speaking too? What you gonna do there? He ain't gonna do it. He ain't gonna do it. He kept going. He ain't gonna do it. He ain't gonna stop. Right. So, so, so a black person could be a Well, yeah, yeah, right. Esau can be black too. Could be Chinese. Yeah, you got you got Chinese Edomites. That's right. It's just crazy, but most high is crazy. That's right. Yeah. Most high is crazy. He got tricks for it. He got tricks. That's why the scriptures say you don't judge after the flesh. But let me, I got a scripture for you. Leviticus 13 and 13. Uh, now you read a book of Leviticus 13 is all dealing with leprosy laws. Now you got different types of leprosy. You got actual leprosy where your fingers will fall off and you get lesions and scabs and sores. But you also have a clean form of leprosy. And we seen a black dude yeah. earlier yeah. had leprosy. Oh, you know Michael Jackson had leprosy. You know that? When Michael Jackson's autopsy he said he actually had a skin disease. He said he don't matter if it's black or white. It really don't. When I used to do private care, you know, I used to have patients. I had one patient that right down the street from here. What, his, his skin was continuously falling off. Right? Continuously, every day. And I, you know, I had to care for him. And it stinks. And it stinks. Uh, and it stinks. Did you see it? You see, you see black people, they start turning white. They got patches everywhere. Like, like I said, Michael Jackson had a Miliago, whatever they call that shit. <laughs> whatever the fuck. He had to have a goddamn umbrella protecting from the sun. Yep. And that was real. He wasn't lying. They tried, they tried to say he was getting skin, skin bleach. Dying. He wasn't. He wasn't dying. No, he wasn't. He wasn't bleaching. Now, Sammy Sosa did that. Because he was a filthy individual. This boy was having sex with, this man was having sex with little boys. And there's, and that's just what we know he was doing. This, we don't and, know. And, and being he's, Michael Jackson. To get that type of fame in this world. Right. Being set up in this world, he had to have been doing other shit too. 
other than just having sex with little boys, man. No, come on, when the boys ain't taking the court, when he gave the money to the families, come on, that's the mission of guilt. <laughs> come think about it. Those families was happy to get their money, so they sent their families to the, they sent their children to Michael Jackson's home, hoping and praying that this motherfucker was fucking right to Seriously. That's like the old saying go, would you let your children stay at Michael Jackson's house? <laughs> right, that's what <laughs> and these people was doing it until they knew they were, what they were doing. They was hoping that it's their kid get... Uh, please well, molest my son, oh, man. Let me get some Michael Jackson. That's, you know, that's money. People are wicked, man. People are stupid, man. But those was Edomites he right there. Yeah, they probably was. Those was Edomites. Those was Edomites. Your boy, your boy Corey Feldman said Michael Jackson didn't rape him. <laughs> But he's fucking superstar <laughs> too. Hey, here you go. Let me read this. Leviticus 13 and 13. Then the priest shall consider and behold, if the leprosy hath covered all his flesh, he shall pronounce him clean that hath the plague. It is turned all white. It is all turned white. He is clean. These are, this is a long list. But watch. But when raw flesh appeareth in him, he shall be unclean. So if you got raw flesh, you know, you got sword. That's unclean leprosy. But it is a clean form of leprosy. Blonde hair is a clean form of leprosy. And some people will try to say that's unclean when it's really clean. The scripture says it's clean. You don't hear this in church. You don't, don't teach that leprosy is a curse. Yeah, just, you don't see this. See, the Bible tells you everything. It, it, it is the order. Because everybody knows the original man was dark skinned. Okay. Hey, how you going to get. The dominant from the recessive. That's the world looking for recessive. And that's the recessive, the, the, you know, the weaker gene. How are you gonna get the dominant seed from them? You know? Because it tells because you, you look. see these documentaries, you see all these documentaries on television of Adam and Eve. Two pale ass Edomites. I hate that, man. Yo, the NLA? Two pale ass Edomites, man. Now, where the niggas come from? <laughs> where the Africans come from? <laughs> You know Wait, yeah, because even you got a lot of Irish people, uh, even Germans, well, a lot of white people, they got freckles. Mm -hmm. You know That's what freckles are? That's a clue. Yeah. Look, I got, That's a clue. I got a shitload of freckles. That's a clue. But freckles is melanin, okay? Uh, melanin. melanin. You can't catch freckles. It's, it's hereditary. And it protects you from the sun is what they do. Like, you have black skin because of melanin. It's a royal badge. <laughs> It's a royal badge. You know? Right, because that's how that's where that's why you have dark skins for melody. But like I've had so-called Jews uh, before. Like there's this dude out here teaching one day, we're gonna do the backpipe where I curse yeah. his ass out. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get it on camera, but I told him I was an Israelite. <laughs> I, I, yeah. He's like, he looked at me, he's like, you got all them freckles, you ain't no damn Israelite. Because <laughs> this all the so-called Jews over there in Israel, they don't have any freckles. I mean, that's looking at the flesh, but I'm not just saying freckles mean you're Israelite either. That don't mean shit. Okay? It's all through the spirit. Yeah. And let me, I got a scripture for you. Uh, I'm, I'm give my Bible. But the curses go on and on. Give Romans 8. The curses go on and on. Romans 8 and 14. My Romans is messed up. I got to need a new Bible. <laughs> Romans 8 and 14. For as many as are led by the spirit of the most high. Listen, read that again. Eight and, Romans 8 and 14. Oh, he shut it off. Uh -huh. Yeah, a lot of them, a lot of the firemen, they do it on purpose. When they get right here, they start hitting their horns. Uh, we've so been we been out here, here long enough. Everybody knows who we are. We've been out here for years. You know? Yeah. Actually, a lot of these cops, uh, they have no problem with us at all. We used to curse the cops out. Because they claim to be Christian. But, but now, yeah, but now they they fear, they they afraid of this book, man. Right? A lot of the cops. Take it over. Take it over. But watch the most likely to start putting stop this yeah. nah, that's, that's like it's gonna be a really bad time to be a cop. Yeah. It's like in Hurricane Katrina. You see what happened to all the cops? You remember do you remember Hurricane Katrina? Was you old enough back then? The cops were taking their badges off and they was going they were saying, fuck this shit. They got a out of there. Uh, they sent two black Christians over there to uh, 
Hurricane Katrina. Yeah. That's what all. That's why all chaos was breaking out. There was no law. Okay, it was just anarchy. And it was, that's what's going to happen nationwide in America. Okay, it's going to be chaos out here. Oh, and, and if anybody sees a cop in their uniform on that day, they're going to kill them. It's not going to be pretty cops. It's going to be a bad day to be a cop. These people, they're just everyday people, they outnumber the cops. Yeah. And they, out, they, they have more arms than the cops. And, they, and the cops, man, all the cops do is oppress the poor, rob the weak. All they, all they do is rob you, take your money. They have never, I don't think they've ever prevented a single death. <laughs> they've never saved a day like Spider-Man, you know what I'm saying? Right. Never, not once. Right. They always there, what, five minutes too late. The cops only show up to put the tape around at the murder scene after That's somebody it. been murdered. Yeah. Right. That's right. Draw the white, the white chalk line. Here you go. Uh, you ever watch the news and say, oh, this cop uh, saved this woman from being raped? Or uh, the cop, you know, saved somebody and took a bullet for somebody? It's only on movies. It's a movie, right? It's Hollywood. It's Hollywood, right. It's some bullshit. Only, cop, only thing cops do is pass out the tickets, pull you over, you had one beer. You had one beer, so uh, now you lose your license. You got to pay a $6,000 fine. They ruin your life. Don't have no seat, though. You know, those, yeah, some bullshit. You gotta pay $150 for those seat belts. You know, they don't care if you have money. You got a crime baby at home trying to get home point to feed that baby. They don't give a shit. They don't care. They don't give a shit. You on your way to work, they pull you over, make you late for work, make you lose a job. Wouldn't it be a righteous act? Oh, come on, man. You could yeah. maybe at home crying. Come on, man. Come on. Man. Now, every once in a while, every once in a while, you'll have a poop pop. You know? That's supposed to go for the spirit. Yeah, then you put the spirit on it. Yeah. Normally, uh, he an asshole to everybody else, but. Might put the spirit in you there, yeah. okay? But, but, but for the most part, these cops, yeah. these cops, probably one cop might make it a whole thing because there is an example of a righteous cop in the Bible. Cornelius. Cornelius. Yeah, Cornelius. So there might be one cop that might come up out of that. Yeah. And I'm only saying one. And it ain't Nathaniel. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, that bit, he wearing purple too. You boy wearing purple. You know, the scriptures speak about purple. You know they put purple on the Lord when he was crucified. Because purple is the color of royalty. So when you wear that color purple, you're bragging and boasting like you're better than everybody. Yep. There's a scripture in the, the Apocrypha where it uh, goes into the color purple. And they uh, was talking about the Romans. And they was, before the Roman Caesar came on the scene, and the Israelites commended the Romans and said, uh, none of them even dons the purple, you know saying they're above everybody. So when you wear